are here to report Mr. Shirufia Tayari, of course, who accused the Zambia army of invading in his house. Uh, colleagues from the media, you may recall that uh, Mr. Tayari is an individual who has caused death before in this country. And to us, as a citizen of this country, we feel this man must not be left unchecked. We lost lives just here. We lost Nsaman Sama just here. We lost Kaunda just here because of his mouth. And today we've decided to say, police, the new IG, this must be his first assignment. We want to see him work. Why should a person behave as if Zambia belongs to his grandfather? That's not true. Zambia belongs to all of us. We own this country at all of us with a share. And colleagues of the media, I want to tell you that it is very unfair to see every day one individual trying to divide this country because he wants to survive. Because, now, I want to send a warning to him that we shall not, we shall not allow. Let him not take advantage of the so-called freedom that we, we have today where he's able to speak. He's insulted our president on several times and he's been left spot free. But now, how can the whole lot of Zambia and honestly, let us be fair enough, we are worried. As a member of the UPND myself, I'm also worried. Who is Shirufia Tayari to accuse the whole Zambia army of invading in his house? That's the first question. We lost Zaman Sama here because he accused the president. And, and our president was summoned here. What next? We lost a life. So why should we allow an individual like that to continue you know, waffling every day in this country because of the, the so-called freedom of speech? We have to check ourselves for this from the middle. And we expect that our new IG quickly will respond to our request. This man must be invited. There is no way he can accuse the army you know, of invading in his house. Surely the whole army. Have you ever heard from the time that you were born the army invading in a, a private resident, even when you are a criminal? It has never happened before. So why must it happen today to him? Who is tired? by the way. Tayari is an attention seeker. We all know that. But in a bid to seek attention, we are worried that our peace, stability, security that we've been enjoying as a country is at risk because he wants to dented the name of this country to the international world. That's the first interest that we are in. And ourselves will not watch him continue doing that in the name of freedom of speech. Quickly, in my conclusion, colleagues from the media, we've managed to drop this letter to the IG and we expect that IG Musamba will quickly act upon it and we want to see Mr. Tayari facing the law. No one is above the law, colleagues from the media. And we want this soon. If possible, we want him to act within 24 hours because this is urgent. Let us not take Tayari very lightly. That guy remains a danger to this society. Thank you so much. Maybe a quick one. Uh, Tayari, um, in his um, way it started from, he was requesting the, the army to raise the names of uh, people that applied. Do you think he was in order to, to, to request for those names? This well, I think that's, we that's the background. This is what we are saying. That this is a guy who survives through handouts. He's not in order. Because we all know that every government department has a process of operation. So why must you force somebody to, to release them? There is a time that the names will come out. So, Tyre's mouth has continued to make noise, even today. Even when you and me know that we lost Zaman Sama just around this area. Today somebody is a widow because of one person. Today, somebody has got no father because of one person. And this is a person who has continued to move scot-free in the country. A again, we throw a challenge to the IG. IG, uh -huh. we want to see more work because we are tired 
we are tired of seeing and lawlessness in this country. People have got the access freedom. Let us have the normal freedom of expression to ensure that every Zambian enjoys the peace and stability. Thank you so much.